This is Pride Bongani, and welcome to Zazi White. Yo, they say um, <clears throat> success mm. is when opportunity meets preparedness. Yes. So um, they said, no, you can't. They said, no, you can't. It, it's, 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 we're only giving you two weeks. I did the album in three days. That's how ready I was. Wow. Born Poto Linkomo, Wengezela is the second born in a family of three, two boys and one girl, and was raised in Bulawayo. According to him, music was a huge part of his life growing up at church, where he would sing, and yet he never imagined that he would turn into a career, as his parents had different plans for him. After completing his O-levels in 2004, he enrolled at Hamakosi Performing Arts Academy, which only ran for four years. So I was born in Zimbabwe, um, in um, the second capital called Bulawayo. Okay. It's called Losenkos. And then um, I was raised by my granny, and I discovered the love for singing when I was pretty, pretty young, wow. because my granny was too old. So okay. she would forget and yes. I would remember all her hymn songs. So I was oh. like called the song bank or memory wow. or something like that. <laughs> and then I would sing all the hymns to, you know, I would remind her of all the hymns and I would sing. I took that to school. Mm. I took that to high school. And I was fortunate that my path always, you know, um, would cross with music mm -hmm. either way. You yeah. know, I joined the school choir and yes. we became the first choir to get into studio and record wow. and I was the lead singer and I was singing soprano you know wow. and I, si banga, wow. banga, si and, you know so I auditioned and I beat all the girls and I became like wow. a, a lead vocalist um, <laughs> and, and and I wanted to be a teacher wow. you know like because that's what you're told you gotta be a teacher you gotta be a doctor you gotta be a nurse and mm. so I was like I also I will be a teacher um, but as God would have it um, mm. as soon as I finished my all levels you know um, I couldn't get my results because my mother was that poor. She couldn't afford to pay for the school textbooks that I had lost. Sure. So I found myself just singing in church and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and that. Um, and then fast forward, you know, I found myself in the biggest arts institution, you know, mm. in, 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 in Bulawayo. But this came about because as I was seated in church one day, um, they would make... Um, announcement and say um, any lawyers in the house stand up any nurses mm. stand up and we've got this uh, festival called the you know uh, East Tembiso festival so that particular festival everyone comes to church with their gowns oh. you know? yeah you know like so, the, so the I, graduating I, yes brand. yes okay. so it's just like okay god i mean I, i'm just a singer when will i ever graduate and guess what god created a school for me wow it was wow. um, called Amakosi Performing Arts Academy, wow. which had never existed. It was created specifically for that Bad. particular, you know, time. Wow. And I enrolled. Wow. And I studied for four years. As soon as I finished, the school shut down. <gasps> After completing his diploma in creative arts communication and multimedia with Amakosi Performing Arts Academy, he attended Haifa, Harare International Festival of Arts. There he saw performances that blew his mind. And after traveling back to his hometown, Bulawayo, the decision to pursue a career in music was incarnated. The former Isladi High School student felt that South Africa was the right place for him to make it in the music industry and his guitar skills that he learned in 2007 would take him places. I started keyboard and piano for studio producing and programming, but I wanted to be a performer, to be able to go out into the world and talk to the people, a keyboard would limit me. But with the guitar, I could move around, so I started transferring the knowledge so it was more self-taught, using the same dynamics of music basics. South Africa in 2008, mm -hmm. I was actually following the sound of music right. because I was listening a lot to Tato Bingo, Mamde Tambulu, mm -hmm. the late Usin Hyongo, oh, yes. ah, those yes. legends. I mean, mm. and, and so I was like, I, I want to be a storyteller, and yes. I thought they were telling stories the way I wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was just following the sound of music. In the midst of xenophobic attacks, swiftly, Begazela learned that he had to scrape it out with menial jobs here and there but his eye was still on the prize and was writing music at the same time. In no time, he met his producer, 
Papin Senga. It would take three years for a mini breakthrough in his career. One of the jobs digging trenches was in 2011, three years after he traveled to South Africa, was when Begezela, at the time going by the name Pozo, had a eureka moment. In 2011, I was working as a, you know, manual labor for a construction you know company mm. along William Nicole in Brainstein wow. and uh, I was digging a trench this melody hit me so hard mm. I put my pick and shovel on the ground and I told the big guys I was digging with like guys I've written a song and and they laughed and one of them was like you know what one day we'll be watching this guy on TV yeah. and I hope you are watching yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, you know, and, and he's going to be famous and all. The melody was so beautiful. Mm. So I started working on it. I took my old phone from my from the plastic that I'd wrapped with and I recorded the melody. Mm. And when I got home, I decided to write a message. Mm. <clears throat> so I was in a long distance relationship and yes. I was missing my girl. <laughs> and, and so, <laughs> so instead of writing a song, I wrote a message. Yes. So I was yes. like, be patient. Yes. You know, may the days fast forward, may the days speed up till yes. so that I get to December already because yes. that's the only time so that get I get to go home and, yeah. and, and, and see her and, and all of that. So it it was it, it flowed. Yes. You know, it just was flowing because it, it, it you know, it was a message. Yes. And and I, and I called my producer and said, dude, I've written a song. And when I got into studio, the atmosphere was crazy. It was yeah. really amazing. And boom. However, so the song started playing mm. uh, underground, one radio station to another. Yes. But still, I was not making any money. I was not getting any recognition. Mm. And so from 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, things were hard. In 2016, I had a conversation with God. Yes. I said, I, I didn't pray. Mm. I, 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 I literally spoke to him. Spoke I said, God, him. look, things are tough now. Yeah. Um, can I give you my music to mm. take care of it? Mm. I'm going to look for a job. So I hung my guitar literally and I made a deal with God, you know, wow. and he said, go on. So I looked for a job. I didn't have any references or any experience. Mm. I've only known music my life. And I, they, so there's this restaurant in Santin called News Cafe where yes. I used to, I had a friend who was a waiter there and used to break to other waiters and say, I've got a brother who's famous. Yes. He did this. So I would go there to sell my CDs to the waiters. Wow. I found myself at their doorstep mm -hmm. and he's like, you are here. What can we do for him? Like, I'm looking for a job. He's like, are you for real? I said, yes. Wow. Luckily, he had been promoted. He was now a manager. Wow. So he said, okay, man, it's going to be tough. We're going to train you for a week. I said, I'm ready. You know, I didn't know what God was doing there. Mm -hmm. However, the Begazella that I am today is as a result of being a waiter because first I learned humility. Yes. No one can just tip you if you are arrogant and yes. you don't know people. I learned to be a good judge of character. Mm -hmm. And as someone walks in that, okay, this one is going to be a workout. This one will tip. This one yeah. will just buy coffee <laughs> <laughs> wow. and leave. So, wow. Number three, I learned how to save, how yes. to make a thousand rand from 10 rand, wow. which artists don't have and they mm. don't know. I learned patience all over again. Mm. I felt like I betrayed my craft, mm. but um, everyone started calling me Nchuli, meaning the singer. Yes. And you know what? Each time a famous person walked in, all the waiters would swap their swap. tables so that I go you and serve the person. Wow. So that I tell them. Yes. I remember there's a breakfast show um, done by 94.7. They are just across the road. Yes, from. Yes. They ate there. I would yes. And I would serve them and I will talk to them. Yes. And, um, I, I worked only for a year wow. and that big call came in. So I was coming from a double shift at 11 uh, a.m. and someone wakes me up. Like, Who's waking me up at 11 a.m.? People are sleeping. <laughs> yes. and, then, and then the guy's like, yeah, dude, I heard your song. Mm. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, so what? You know, Because I was tired of that. People were like, hey, your song is on radio. I'm like, yes. I'm past that. past that. He said, dude, who's pushing you? I'm like, no one. Mm. What do you mean? He's like, um, can we work together? I'm like, who are you? He says, my name is Siponyatela. I'm from Ketoraf. Ketoraf is the biggest yes. company in South Africa. And I'm Nati's manager. And Nati was too hot Whoa. at the time. Yes, I woke I up was. and I was like, whoa, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then he's like, yeah, dude, you know, can we meet? I'm like, uh, all right, when? He's like, today. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. He's like, why? I'm like, I've got to go to work. <laughs> like, 
you've got a big song in the country and you work. work. I'm like, yes. Where? He was confessing. What do you do? I'm a waiter. Yeah. He went and told his partner, Lance. Lance is a lover of stories. Yes. So on my off day, I went and had a meeting with them. And um, so they said to me, okay, we, f- we, we love the song Begazella. Because mm. they heard it. In, in one of the popular joints mm. playing and people like singing I don't know yes. who is this guy yes. so and then um, they called me in and said can we do the song Begazella yes. we just want the song Begazella here's a two weeks leave take a two weeks leave from work and do Begazella I said I want to do a full upper nice. they said no you can't they said no you can't it, it's, 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 we're only giving you two weeks I did the album in three days that's how ready I was wow He then repented himself and changed his name from Bozo to Begazela. After signing with Motherland, he recorded the song Amanzi, in which he featured Ntando. The song won him the Best Afro Soul Award at the 2017 Skies Metro Awards. In 2017, he released his debut album, Begazela, which was self-titled. The album had six previous renditions, and the album was packed with hits, including the title track, Begazela, which won in the Song of the Year at the 2018 Royal Wulawayo Arts Awards. And in 2019, he won the award for Outstanding Ambassador Republic of South Africa at the Royal BAA Awards. The album also featured the song In Bogota, which was dedicated to women. Begazella <laughs> went on to collaborate with Candy on the title song of the album, Upenyu Unenge Viri, and the album won the South African Music Award for the Best Traditional Album in 2018. Begazela was also featured in the song Makumalo by Berita Kumalo. He joined the ongoing campaign against the spread of the lethal coronavirus by roping in 18 African artists on a new song entitled Pumelela. Begazela's come up story is that of patience. It's a story of someone who believed in his dreams so hard that he pursued them. 
so hard that they shaped his reality. I'm really looking forward to what the future was for him. The end. Well, fam, thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Zase White. Make sure that you do follow Zase Media on Instagram at Zase Media. And also, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And like the video and share it with your friends and family. If there are artists that you'd like me to take a look at in future episodes, make sure that you do comment down on their names. Pride Bongani, signing out for Zase. Issue. Catch you on the next one.